Hello. Yeah. So in this video, we will see what is API lifecycle management in MuleSoft. Okay. In general, how we can take this as a lifecycle means, uh, if anything from start to end. Let's say if we consider our human life, uh, the life cycle is like birth to death, like uh, just for example, right? So like that, if you take any API is a life cycle, so start from that API life cycle, uh, how we can start, how we can design like that and end to the deliver until you deliver this API or this application to the customer, the all the different stages between these uh, uh, complete uh, process is called life cycle. So in MuleSoft, we have multiple stages. In general, you might be already aware of SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle. Uh, just like that, we have multiple stages in MuleSoft also for this API Lifecycle. So in general, what we have in uh, Software Development Lifecycle is uh, requirements gathering, design, planning, development, deployment, and uh, monitoring uh, like that, right? So if you can consider this diagram, here the first step would be design center so once you are done with that uh, requirements gathering and all uh, we will see in detail in our next video so once you are done with that requirements gathering then the our first step in the api life cycle is the design center the, here we are going to design our api by using raml rest api okay so once you are done with the design with all the required details uh, I'll just show you uh, the design center in any point platform also. So this is the cloud hub where you are going to use all these features. So this is the design center. In this design center, you are going to um, uh, create your design. Uh, like you are going to write your RAML for your API. Let's see all these details in detail. But let's just see what is the feature available in your software any point platform to do each and every step. So next step is exchange here you can see the exchange uh, so once you are done with the design in the ram in the design center you need to publish that to exchange exchange is just like a collection of assets assets means all the reusable components if you create any ram if you have created any other connector any custom policy any custom connector everything will be there in this exchange as an asset for your organization so if any uh, other developer from your team need to use the same thing they can directly get that uh, ram or get that particular uh, uh, api or uh, um, connector from this exchange and they can reuse it instead of writing from scratch they can re reuse the details reuse the connectors or uh, rammels from this exchange so that is why exchange is called assets so you need to first design the api then publish it to the exchange so once you publish this uh, your api into the exchange you will send these details to the customers or end users to get the feedback uh, because uh, in that uh, design center where we are going to design the raml we are not going to use the actual data we will use the sample data and sample request and response how the api will look like once we have been, once we are done the implementation once we deliver the application just all the steps so with the dummy data we are going to design our raml here but raml is uh, final one but the request response data is the dummy data so uh, so that it will save some time like uh, instead of uh, implementing everything and deliver the project then if you give the uh, if, if you send that api to the feedback from the customer uh, then if they need any change then that will be a rework uh, for us so that is why in mulesoft we have this uh, feedback is the first one so once you publish this api to the exchange we will give that exchange access to that customer or end users so they will uh, check it from the exchange itself they will provide the feedback if they need any changes they will suggest us. otherwise they said uh, okay we are good with the design you can go ahead so once we are done go ahead from that customer or end user our next step is to develop that uh, project by using any point studio any point studio is the tool which is the one which we are going to use to develop our MuleSoft applications and ap flows and everything all the implementation we are going to do in our any point studio okay uh, here we can develop the application by using all the flows and test the application by using emulator test cases and all so in the actual code implementation will be done in any point studio tool this is just eclipse like eclipse kind of ide integration development environment uh, um, so you can use this tool to develop it we will see in detail okay then uh, we have another feature called runtime manager once you are done with the development in any point studio uh, once you are done with your local testing then we need to deploy that application in the cloud hub so our end goal is to deliver this application to the customer 
right so to deliver that application to the customer we need to uh, deploy this application into lower environments first so if you don't know about environments uh, deployments everything don't worry right now we will see uh, all these things in detail in our upcoming videos first remember that this naming conventions just just remember this terminology okay uh, so once you're done with the development you will deploy that application into runtime manager uh, by using a cloud hub then you then you or um, maybe once you are de once you deploy this application we need to provide the security as well just to, we need to operate that api by using api manager in cloud hub we have another feature called api manager where we are going to apply all the policies and where we are going to create uh, proxies and other stuff we will see in detail so just remember that to apply any security policies uh, for your apis we are going to use api manager feature in cloud hub okay uh, then uh, once we are done with uh, all these things finally we need to monitor our application also we need to monitor our api also how it is behaving how many requests it is coming like that so this is the api manager which i am talking about to apply all the security policies under you can use this feature once you are done with the ramel in your design center we need to create an api rest api on top of that and then you need to uh, monitor your application by using api monitoring tool in this monitoring tool uh, the information which we will get is like we can see how many requests are there how many how the cpu utilization how your api is utilizing memory how much memory it is taking like that all the information we will see in the monitoring so that we will improve our uh, uh, application further so that's it for this video in our next video we will see everything in detail so please subscribe share like our videos thank you